WACT News begins now with breaking news. 2 thirds majority vote, that's what it takes to, 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 for the statute uh, for the board to remove uh, the trustee. It has passed by two thirds vote and, and thus that seat is vacated. Ray Funderburg did not get enough support to keep his seat on the Cape Fear Community Board of Trustees. The board voted nine to four to oust Funderburg nine months after the school board unanimously appointed him. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Daniela Hankey and I'm John Evans. Tonight's trustees meeting went more than two and a half hours before the trustees took that vote. WECT's Cassie Simmons heard the board's vice chair lay out the accusations against Funderburk and then heard Funderburk defend himself. Now Cassie, this basically boils down to a couple of incidents that basically led to him being removed. That's right, John. The case centered around comments Funderburg made after a Black History Month event and a con conversation that he had with a teacher. Those two actions are what the majority of the board considered to be inappropriate. After just nine months on the job. That seat is vacated. Uh, you should provide notice to the uh, New Hanover Board of Education uh, of that vacation and that uh, they are free to appoint uh, or fill the vacancy. The Cape Fear Community College Board of Trustees voted 9-4 to four to remove Ray Funderburg. Mr. Funderburg does not understand or wants to understand the difference between policy making and administration. He doesn't know his job as a trustee. The move comes after allegations that Funderburg made comments putting the college in disrepute after a Black History Month event and inappropriately pressured a teacher to change a student's grade. If undermining the administrative roles of these folks is not enough. Simply the subject matter of a trustee inquiring about a student's grade is justification for removal, in my opinion. Everything that has been presented is questionable or empty. This is serious. This is my name. This is my integrity. After passionate conversations, we must be able to use our voices, work collaborative for every student that comes into this building. The board voted Funderburk out. With that, that is the sole purpose, purpose of this meeting. So you, you should have a motion to adjourn. I don't have any comments at this time. You don't say anything? Not right now. The board's chair and vice chair also declined to comment on the controversial move. Chair Bill Cherry did offer a prepared statement saying, quote, the Cape Fear Community College Board of Trustees takes its duty to the college and the community seriously and believes the decision to vacate the position of Ray Funderburg, the third as a trustee is in the best interest of the college and its students. Now I do have his full statement inside the story on our website. All right, Cassie, thanks for the update.